So guys, if you're playing GTA 5 on the Epic Games Launcher, you want to click on the three dots, and then click on Manage, and then click on Verify. If you're playing GTA 5 on Steam, you want to right click on GTA 5, click on Properties, and then click on Installed Files, and then click on Verify. Now for the next step, you want to head over to Search, and type in Graphics Settings, click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to make sure that where it says Add an App, Desktop App has been selected, and then click on Browse. Then you want to find where you have GTA 5 installed. So for me, it's on my C drive, Program Files, GTA 5, and then you want to find the GTA5.exe game. You want to double click on it, which will then add it here. You want to click on Options, and then click on High Performance, and click on Save. For the next step, you want to head over to Search, and type in Firewall and Network Protection. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on Allow an App through Firewall, and then you want to click on Change Settings. And then click on allow another app and then click on browse. Now you want to find where you have GT5 installed again. So for me, it's on this PC, C drive, program files, scroll down, GT5. You want to add the GT5.exe file and then click on add and then click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and do the updates that your computer may have. For the next step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to expand display adapters. Then you want to right click on your graphics card and click on update driver. And then click on search automatically for drivers. Make sure that the best drivers for your device have been installed. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restate your computer and then the form should be fixed.